congratulations. Thank you. They're pleased. I can hear it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Another straight set Grand Slam final for you, and so many young guns were coming after you. There's a message in that straight set win. What is it? Well, maybe, uh, you know, all you can do is try your best, and it's, it's beautiful to come through against the young guys, like you say, because uh, they improve every year as, you know, as time goes by, because, uh, you know, they play more matches, they know how, where they stand, and I think it's always, they're in their prime, usually between 22 and 25 years old, you know, so to come through against a, a great player like Andy, who I'm, I'm convinced he's going to win Grand Slams, is, is, is amazing. So they're in their prime between 22 and 25, yet you're 28 and you pick up Grand Slam title number 16. And your first as a dad. How is it different? Well, it, it, it's special. You know, I, obviously, I, I think I see tennis differently today than, let's say, 10 years ago when I came down here for the first time, you know, in the main draw. Uh, you're just a bit more relaxed about everything because you've achieved so much. And, you know, tennis could end any minute and I'll still be a happy man. But I choose not to and I try to still compete and, you know, play against the best. So for me to, to be still at number one in the world and come through and win the big tournaments, it's, it's incredible. So I hope I can keep it up. It's a great start to the year and we'll see where it takes me. It's the best start you can possibly have. Let's take a look at your highlight yeah. with Andy Murray. You mentioned being relaxed. Did he strike you as nervous? Not really. I mean, he's always very laid back be before the match and also during the match. You know, just because I think once you become a, a good enough player, there is no really need to worry. You know, and I think he's done really well. You know, considering the pressure he has from uh, from Britain or from England, and uh, he's a great player. You know. And this was the first set you were serving up yeah. two games. Yeah, why did I do that? No, I mean, he, he picked the right way, and I mean, to put it in on a dime back there was, was amazing. And he broke back to then get on serve. Yeah, I mean, I played a good game, you know, so I didn't really get discouraged, you know, just because I, I think I was playing really good tennis. I was hitting the ball well, backhand and forehand, and also being offensive. But I think the, the first set was a bit key again, because it was very intense, uh, and uh, yeah, I did well. And here's the Fidelity tennis tracker in set two, and you were cruising at this point. You're going to come up with a huge forehand winner. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's good to hit, play these, you know. I mean, they don't maybe mean much in the moment itself, but it just shows that, you know, you're, you're floating, you're hitting the ball well, and you're trying to, you know, uh, you know be dangerous. That was, that was a tough one. That was when he was breaking back in the third set. Or in the second set, actually. No, and third he breaks set. Yeah. third set to lead 4-2. This is in the tie break at 9-all. Yeah, there, there I chose to play aggressive, you know. Um, it's a tough moment. I thought he was a big passive at the end, you know, so I took advantage of that. So you doubted his speed for a moment. He's so fast to get to the drop shots usually. Yeah, but he was not taking too many chances. You know, this obviously was unbelievable. You know, I, I chose to drop shot, which worked very well. I, I wanted to take it, then thought, take it, don't take it, and it was too, too late. So it was, uh, but I got a second chance and I, I took it here again, you know. It's amazing. Good feeling. And it, all of a sudden, everything happened so fast, you know, because I thought after that drop shot, oh my God, I'm going to see myself in the fifth set, not winning the, the title. So it was great coming out of that breaker. And yet you hold it again. Most major singles titles for the men all time. You stand alone, number 16. I guess you could chase 18 and catch Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova. Well, uh, let's see about that. I don't have any targets, you know. I just take it uh, uh, week by week, year by year. And uh, if I can win more slams, sure, I'll take them, you know. But I'll work as hard as possible. But I don't have a goal that I chase every record down in the history books because they're, they're meant to be bro bro broken. And uh, I think the legends before, they've created the game on the platform for me to play on. So I'm obviously very thankful to everything they've done for the game.